Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now I'm gonna do another Instagram Q&A where you can go over to my Instagram and ask me pretty much any question about camera gear, life, and pretty much anything. Now guys, also, if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top five best prime lenses under $350. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below and you can take a look. But anyway, let's get started with the very first question. So the first question asks, which one would you choose, the 40mm STM or the 50mm STM from Canon? That's a really good question, is you've got two really good lenses there. Now, the 40mm STM is a pancake lens, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. And the 50mm STM has a wider aperture of f1.8 versus the f2.8 aperture on the 40mm STM. Now, if you really need a small package and you've got a smaller body like, say, a Canon T3i, T4i, maybe you'll want to go for the 40mm STM. But for pretty much everyone else, I'm probably going to recommend the 50mm f1.8 STM because it is a slightly nicer lens. You've got a wider aperture so you can shoot in lower light conditions. Uh, and it's a really nice lens. So next question asks, can I use other brand lenses on my Canon DSLR? Absolutely, you can. I use uh, different lenses. I often use Canon lenses, but I also use uh, lenses from Sigma, Tekina, Tamron. There's lots of different uh, manufacturers who are making really good quality lenses, especially Sigma these days. Right now I'm using the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8, and it's a fantastic lens, and it's something that Canon don't actually make. So yeah, highly recommend uh, checking out some other brands. So I've got a good question here saying, I want an entry level DSLR that will satisfy me for a few years. Do you have any ideas? Absolutely, I'd probably look at something like a, uh, a used Canon T2i or Canon T3i, which will get you into the market at a pretty cheap price. You can get them for around about $250, $300 these days. Then what you can do is practice on that, get good at photography and also doing a little bit of video if you want to. And then you're gonna have a little bit more money left over uh, to invest some money into some glass or some lenses, something like maybe a Canon 50 millimeter F1.8 STM. And then uh, as you progress as a photographer, you'll be able to kind of put a little bit more money towards lenses rather than your body. And that should uh, definitely last you for a little while. So I've got an interesting question here saying, if you could only use one camera and lens for the rest of your life, what would it be? Now, if we're gonna be talking about DSLRs, I probably would get something like a Canon 80D. Firstly, it's not too expensive of a camera, so it's not a Canon 5D Mark III, so you're not gonna to be too worried about uh, losing it. Uh, secondly, it's a bit of an all-rounder camera. It's a great photography camera, but it's also an incredibly good uh, cinematography camera because it's got a fantastic uh, autofocus system on it as well. In terms of a lens, for me, the best all-round uh, lens that's a, kind of in my budget is the Canon 18 to 135 STM lens. You could also get the newer USM lens, but the STM lens for me works really well. So probably the 80D and the 18 to 135, it's gonna uh, allow me to shoot in situations where I need to go wide and also uh, zoomed in a little bit. So that's probably what I would choose. So I've got a question here saying, what is the best camera for kids? Now, I'm not exactly sure which way you mean this, whether or not you wanna be taking photos of kids or whether or not you wanna be giving the cameras to kids so they can take some photos. If you wanna be giving the cameras to kids, I'd probably recommend just using your phone or something like that and uh, essentially just letting them go uh, crazy with it and not worrying too much about uh, things like shutter speed and aperture and things like that, just getting them to you know, go out and take as many photos as they can and just learning uh, pretty much all about photography and also really enjoying it. Now, if you wanna be taking photos of kids, there's a few things that you really need to take into consideration as kids are really fast and they generally don't stay put for too long. So you just wanna be increasing your shutter speed uh, high enough so that they're not gonna be all blurry. Uh, and that's generally gonna get the best results with kids. So I've got a question here saying, I'm new to photography and I wanna buy a Canon 600D. Is it any good? Well, absolutely. For me, the Canon 600D or the Canon T3i for in America was one of these special cameras from Canon because uh, for the price, it really did include a lot of really good features. The Canon T2i, the camera before it, uh, was the first DSLR, proper DSLR that I actually bought and it lacked a few features. So it didn't have the articulating screen, it didn't have the digital zoom in the video mode, and it also didn't have uh, audio levels that you can set manually. So for me, the Canon T3i was a camera that I actually kept around for around about four years. I just sold mine, uh, but it, absolutely, it's a fantastic camera for uh, stills photography, especially if you throw a really nice lens on it. And also for video, it's a really uh, good camera. Doesn't have great autofocus, but for pretty much everything else, absolutely. And as you can tell, the lights changed. Uh, but yeah, the Canon T3i or 600D, fantastic camera, especially for beginners. So there you go, guys. As you can tell, the light's changing up quite a lot. So I'm gonna end this Q&A right here. If you wanna check out that top five list of the best prime lenses for under $350, I'll put a link in the description box below under this video and you can take a look. And also don't forget to add me over on Instagram and you can ask me plenty of questions. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.